Hey guys, Chris from Adapt Tuition here, and in this video, I'm going to show you the solution for question 2 from the Jan 2011 PUA paper 2. If you want to see the solutions for the other questions on this paper, I'm going to put a card up here and a link in the description below. So be sure to check those out as well. And with that said, let's get into the question. Okay, so we have a partnership question and it says that C. Win and T. Bain's partnership deed states the following. Interest on capital, 10% per year on capital at start of the year. Interest on drawings, 10% per year on all partners' drawings. And then monthly salaries, pay attention to that word please, monthly, because that's going to come into play later. C. Win, 1200, T. Bain, 800. Next, they tell us that the partnership extracted the following trial balance for the year ended December 31st, 2010 after calculating net profit before interest on the loan from T. Bain. Oh, okay. So we have a trial balance here. Now, interestingly enough, like we said, there's profit before interest. So they worked out the entire trading account with the exception of the interest on whatever loan there is. And this is the net profit. Eh? We also have closing stock. So again, normally closing stock is included in your list of additional information below the trial balance. So here, the fact that it's in the trial balance says that, hey, this item has already been adjusted for. Next, we have land and buildings after depreciation. So that's a net book value. We have prepaid insurance. So, I mean, that's, again, normally something we see below a trial balance. So this has already been dealt with. The income statement has already been done. We have motor vehicles after depreciation. And we also have account receivable. Now, we have some information about C-Win. So C-Win's capital account balance is in the credit column, as it should be, 35000 C-Win's current account balance, however, is in the debit column. Now, when you have a debit balance on your current account, that implies you have a deficit on your current account. What does that mean? That means the partner had more withdrawals than earnings. The current account shows the partner's earnings from the partnership and the partner's withdrawals. So the earnings, of course, are credits. The withdrawals are debits. So if you have more withdrawals than more earnings, you have more debits than credits. Hence, you'll have a debit balance. And see when drawings of 12,700. Okay. Next, we have a couple, uh, a few, sorry, liabilities, bank overdraft, creditors or accounts payable, and rent owing, accrued expenses, okay? And um, we also have information about TBN, the other partner. TBN's current account has a credit balance, indicating there's a surplus on TBN's current account, more earnings than withdrawals. TBN's capital account has a debit credit balance, sorry, as it should have. Ah, TBN's two-year 4% loan. So TBN lent the partnership 5000 and is a 4% interest rate per annum on that loan. So that's the interest rate that they were talking about. Well, the, yeah, they, they were talking about a bit early in the question. So they have not yet taken away that interest expense from the, well, to calculate profit. So we are going to have to do that, right? And then TBN's drawings, 9,003. And as you can see, your trial balance balance is the debit column. Total is equal to the credit column total. Now, the first thing they want us to do is prepare the appropriation account for C-Win and T-Bain for the year ended December 31st, 2010. Okay, so as I always recommend, please do head up your statements properly, the name of the partnership, the name of the statement you are doing, and the period to which it applies. I have FYE, which is for the year ended. Again, I like to abbreviate certain things sometimes to save on the horizontal space, which makes these statements a bit easier for you all to see. Okay, the first thing we're going to put in here is the profit before the interest of $39,100. And we are going to subtract the interest. So let's go down to the loan. And we're going to take a look at that information. Right, so it says 4% loan, 5000 So all you have to do to find the interest on the loan is find 4% of $5,000, which is $200. Then you're going to subtract that from the net profit before interest to get net profit after interest or net profit before appropriation, 38900 now, before we jump into the appropriation, we have to add interest on drawings. So if we go back up to the initial set of information, we're going to see where they tell us interest on drawings is 10% per year on all partners' drawings. So let's take a look at each of those partners' drawings. So C. Win had drawings of 12,007. So we're going to find 10% of 12,007. That's for C. Win. That's going to give us 1270. And next, we're going to find the drawings for T. Bain. That's 9,300, which of course, 10% of which, of course, is $930. Adding those up is going to give us $2,200. And we're going to add that to the net profit before appropriation to give us a profit, well, to be appropriated of $41,100. Now we are going to appropriate. The first set of appropriations is the interest on capital. 
If we go back up to the information at start, we'll see that the interest on capital is 10% per year on capital at the start of the year. So for C win, the capital balance was 35,000. So we're just going to find 25, sorry, let me 25, 10% of 35,000, which is 3,500. For T bin, T bin's capital balance is 25,000. So we're simply going to find 25%, sorry, let me, I keep saying 25%, 10% of 25,000, which is 2,500. Totaling the two figures gives us 6,000, and now we can move on to the salaries. So remember above when I said that this would monthly would come into play, monthly salaries, C win 1,200, T bin 800. So if they earn that per month, and we are doing an appropriation account for an entire year, guess what we have to do to work out what the total salary each partner earned for the year is. Sorry, did I finish that sentence? Guess what we have to do to work on the total salary for the year? We have to multiply each of these figures by 12, right? Because there are 12 months in a year. And if you earn 1,200 per month, to find the total salary per year, you'll multiply 1,200 by 12, which gives you 14,400. Similarly, for TBM, we're going to multiply 12 by 8, which is going to give us 9,600. Adding those two up is going to give us 24,000. Adding that to the interest on capital subtotal of 6,000 will give us a total appropriation of 30,000, which when subtracted from the 41,100 above, gives us $11,100. And now we have to share that profit. But the thing is, if we go up to the initial information, there's no item telling us how to share profit. No way any question. So what do we do? Well, if there's no explicit profit, profit and loss sharing ratio, we simply share profits or losses equally between or among the partners. So all we have to do is take 11,100 and divide it by two or find a half of it and give each partner an equal share. And that's going to give 11,100 in total. And that's the end of the appropriation account. Let's take a look at the next part of the question. Okay, so it says using the columnar style, prepare the current accounts for C win and TB in seven months. Okay, so we're going to do T accounts and each partner is going to have a column. So it's almost going to look like a cash book. So you can see what's going on on this side across here. So on the debit side, each partner has a column. Same thing on the credit side. I didn't put any date or folio columns, so we're just going to go with it. Now, let's start with the opening balances. So C win had an opening debit balance of 750. So we're going to put that in right there. And T bin had an opening credit balance, sorry, right, of 1750. So we're going to put that on the credit side right there. Now, what goes in the current accounts? The partner's earnings and withdrawals. Where are we gonna find the earnings? Well, we just did the appropriation account. And the items, the earnings items are the, the interest on capital, sorry, salary and share of profit. So all we have to do is plug those straight in from the appropriation account, right? And they go on the credit side because credits increase the earnings or the capital of the partner. Now, on the debit side, we're going to put the withdrawals, right? Now, what are the withdrawals items? Well, the drawings, which the question gives us outright, and the interest on drawings, which are 10% of each of those figures. So now all we have to do is find the balances carried down. Now, to do that, you're going to add up the items on the credit side, add up the items on the debit side, and subtract. And the same thing for being. You're going to add up these items, add up these items, and then subtract. And what that will do is that will give us the balance to be carried down, from the debit side and of course now if you total up both sets of columns you'll notice that the totals for win are equal on both sides and the totals for being on both sides are also equal because we balance off the account and of course bring down your balances on the credit side all right i think there's one last part of this question let's take a look at it all right so it says to draw up a statement showing the net worth of each partner as at december 31st 2010. the net worth is simply the total of the capital and current account balances so we're going to do a quick calculation across here. So win and gain, statement of net worth, as at, I forgot about as at. So as at um, 31 December 2010. All right, let's pull it as well. Cool. So win and gain. Right. So the capital account balances were given to us by the question, 35,000, 25,000. We just worked out the current account balances. So we're going to put those there as well. And all we have to do is add going down. And we have the net worth of each partner in the partnership. And that's the end of the question. Okay guys, so there you have it. That's the solution for question two from the Jan 2011 POA paper two. If you have any questions about it, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below and I'll get back to you when I have a chance. If you wanna check out any more videos, I'm gonna put some cards right here. Don't forget to subscribe and be sure to check out my website where you'll find some pretty useful POA handouts. Anyway guys, once again, thank you so much for watching. Take care of yourselves 
and I'll see you next time. Bye.